Welcome back to Raven Creek. Or rather, now that we've left Raven Creek, welcome to Lord Wilson's party on the outskirts, in his manor on the outskirts of Raven Creek. Your visit to Lord Wilson's party should pay generously. Steal at least 7,000 loot. I wonder that goes up to an expert. Uh, okay, there's a missing piece of text or something. 5,000, 7,000, probably goes up to 9,000. That's unfortunate that there's a, that bug. Lord Wilson and his guests are some of the richest and most respected nobles in the country. Most respected, huh? They will hunt you down if you leave a trail of blood. Whatever happens, do not kill anybody. Is that true? Even on Eden normal? Yep, yeah, alright. No kills. To clear the way for Leon and his men, you'll have to knock out all guards patrolling the front garden and the ground floor of the main building. Oh. Okay, all the objectives are the same on all of them except the loot girl. Find Lord Wilson's treasure vault, open the safe door for Leon. When your job is done, go to the balcony of the main entrance and give Leon the signal. Okay. Well, we have a lot of knockouts to do, so I guess that forces my hand into a particular play style. It's Leon and his guys don't know how to be stealthy. Why don't I just tickle them loot myself? Hey. Hey, Crow. I mean, technically, yeah. No, quiet now. I'm sure. <laughs> I thought I had a rat, now it's another squirrel. I mean, they're not that different. Right, let's... <clears throat> Still hitting people with my bling pen. Whatever happened to good old blackjack? So I'm not pretending to be pirating anymore, but... Uh... Well, I guess... Have a, a guard party. It's like a garden party, but it's not, it's it's made of guards instead of gardens. Oh, there's a nice place you got here. Okay, front gate guard. Birds flying around. Not again. So I'm to see if I can see any guards on balconies and stuff. I can't. Alright, you get to have your own party in this bush. Put them in a bush doesn't actually hide them any better from a gameplay point of view, but it feels to me like it, like it should, so it feels like the right thing to do. Hmm, I'm gonna get behind you. Jorin, that you? Nope, it's not Jorin. Alright, well... They're definitely not making it difficult to clear the way here on the garden, at least. I guess once we get indoors, it's probably not going to be quite so dark. Yeah, I am looking him all the way to this bush to join the party. But also, I wanted to check out the fountain, so I'll be coming back most of the way anyway. Flowers scattered around everywhere. It's a lot of attention to like environmental detail. <sighs> oh, nice! What arrows? Uh, you know, with the birds, flowers, and stuff that you definitely don't see in a lot of missions. So, like, plenty of missions give, give a lot of uh, attention to architectural detail. Not so much the environments. I heard a guard, but I don't see anyone in here. Oh, there's somebody up there. Alright, I'll we'll be careful with them. Let's check out the other side of the house. We do not have a map, right? No. Golden Garden Gnome, okay, not, not what I was expecting to find. Fair enough. Ah, 
another guard. Yeah, so he goes indoors. Like it's nothing. Why is he going on his belt? Is that an enormous key? I can't get a simple mug of coffee. What's that? It's me hitting you on the head. It's a museum key, okay. It is a fancy key. Let's get him out of the way before this guy comes back outdoors. Guards in the front garden and on the ground floor of the main building. Got a lot of doorways. <laughs> There's a squirrel here, right? A squirrel running around. And we've got these uh, enormous... Oh, I thought they were squirrel statues. No, okay, they're weird dog dragons. They look like squirrels from a distance. Which I was very amused by. <sighs> Never tell if this is stuff to pick up in these goats. Does that count as front garden? This is back garden, right? It comes with its own music. Is that a beetle or what? Here's a weird beetly thing that is. No. Oh. Spidery beetly thing. Hey, squirrel. There's another one. Colors of them. Missed. That was my last arrow, too. Did it, did it at least stick in the ground where I can recover it? Doesn't seem to have. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, there's another one there. Some strange beastly things. What's the blue one again? Oh, I think it saw me. Oh, my arrow is there. Okay, that's so hard to hit with a sword. What's going on back here? Is this where Leon and his men are coming from, or what? Dynamite? What is going on? We gotta explore this. Ow. Well, that's where all the bugs are coming from, isn't it? Alright, 
I'm going to need more uh, broadheads if I'm going to successfully explore that, I think. in here. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. Theo, I expect your work to be done to my satisfaction. Does this look like a well-kept garden to you? What am I paying you for? All the weeds must be removed. And don't tell me that puppies are not weeds. Those repugnant light mushrooms have got to go. If it gets too dark, just install a few more lanterns. The lawn must be absolutely flat, and the blades must be cut at exactly the same height. No more wild clumps of grass. The old trees behind the greenhouse should be cut down, and don't forget to dig out the roots. I don't want vermin anywhere in my garden. Moss arrows, nice. Well, it's definitely worth coming in here then before the main house. So I'm sure there'll be opportunities to use moss arrows in the house itself. Right. Oh. And some valuables. We got 100 out of our 7,100 down, 6,900 to go. Hey, Scarecrow. Alright. Check out the caravan and the coach house. Big fancy coaches and trunks that get in my way. Nice bicycle though. Shame I can't ride it. Inside, I guess. Yes. No. Of course not. That was. Huh? Anybody there? Hot dog. Mm -hmm. Does he notice his food going missing from in front of his face? He does not. So he's not a guard, right? Objective is to knock out all the guards, not everyone. So we might do extraneous knockouts that we don't have to. Gingerbread. That's nice. She doesn't stay long in either room, it seems. Yeah, let's check this room first. Just a bedroom. Someone there. Hopefully he's got a light switch like the others. bank we can't steal. Locked chest, but we're gonna need to lock it. Don't mind me, ma'am. Just stealing all your valuables here. Spot to be in. <laughs> Eat 
healing potion. Nice. This is also just a bedroom. So that's it for this uh, area. Now oh, it's locked. Museum key isn't going to go over that. Alright, well, I guess we're not going in that way. What have we got here? Notice the sound. Hello. Anything in here? Oh, yes. Squirrel. Lots of water arrows, so... Okay, we can read through them. I was going to say, how many water arrows are we going to get a chance to use? This guy seems to use electric lighting everywhere. I guess we'll find out. To all guards, I expect you to patrol the estate wall round the clock. We are surrounded by wild barracks, and should just one of those hole digging burping critters manage to reach my garden, the guards responsible will do all their future patrols outside the wall. On the subject of burping critters, I expect proper behaviour from all of you. No sniffing, no spitting, and no burping in my presence. Otherwise, you will all do your guard duty outside the wall. Lord Wilson. Just in case one of you slow coaches comes across my good for nothing guard, now bring him to me immediately. Five days ago, I entrusted to him 300 gold pieces to buy some new plants I had ordered while visiting the market garden in Ravens Creek. He promised to set off them the following morning, and I haven't seen him since. Woe be to him if this good for nothing has flown the coop with my money. Find him, unless you really want me to bother the Ravens Creek City Watch with this little problem. Lord Wilson. Uh, new objective? What happened to the gardener? Finding him should be worth it. Right? To all archers, if you're not totally deaf, then you have no doubt heard the ravens in my garden. These winged nuisances are disturbing my siesta, and I can no longer bear their incessant cackling. I'll show you my generosity if you manage to ensure peace and quiet. To get things started, we're arranging a small contest. For every dead raven you bring me, I'll pay five gold pieces. I'll keep a record of who killed how many ravens. At the end of the month, I'll take stock. The one who brings me the most dead ravens will get an extra 100 gold pieces, and will be promoted to captain of archers. I can't wait to see who'll be the new captain. Lord Wilson. Yes, if I do not receive satisfaction, you will suffer the consequences. Those who do not make an effort will be dismissed, and I'll see to it that they never get another job as an archer anywhere. Yeah, I was about to question his sudden generosity all of a sudden, but he, uh... Oh. Well, there's music playing. I thought I was hearing lots of footsteps, but no. Some footsteps. I need a light switch quickly. Okay. Hang on, I'm going to see if I can uh, turn the ambient audio down. Cause hopefully that responds to it. Yes, that's a little better. It's still, it's still quite distracting to me. I'm going to turn it down a little more. A bit more like it. Now it's now it's setting a mood without being s obstructing sounds I'm listening for. Apple, some coins. I should have watched which door he went into. So it could be important to know. So I need to check out those doors and. See what those nameplates say. Hmm? Hello? Why am I sneaking around this guy anyway? Ugh. We have to knock them all out. Just start the job soon. 
Put him to bed. <laughs> Lord Wilson will be surprised when all his guards are found asleep in bed. He's a first floor guard and don't need to knock out the first floor guards. Necessarily. Then. Oh, there's a left switch there I hadn't seen. That would have been useful. Oscar Denton, Captain of the Guard. Okay, guard's writing there. Right. Wish I had a map to keep notes of where I had keys. Guard's writing room. Well, they're doing a lot of unsuccessful writing by the looks of it. Anything worth reading? Report on the patrol of Guardsman Peter Lang. While I was on patrol, four squirrels crossed my path, but uh, it could have been one squirrel crossing my path four times. Besides that, seven ravens flew over my head. Oh, but it could have been one raven flying over my head seven times. Otherwise, there were no incidents. What is he paying these guards for? To all guards. His lordship expects daily reports on all incidents during your guard shift. You will write them in triplicate. One copy is for Lord Wilson, one is for me, and one will be filed in the office. I know you all hate writing these reports, but his lordship insists on it. Therefore, no more whinging about the paperwork. Choose your words carefully in these reports as his lordship will read them. So no swear words and no insults. Mention all incidents that occur on your watch, be it squirrels, ravens, or whatever. I'm well aware that nothing interesting goes on in the countryside, so count the squirrels and ravens, and you'll have something to write about in your reports. His lordship wants to be informed about everything. Captain Oscar Denton. I can read this one here. To all guards, the office is to be kept tidy at all times. When you've written your reports, please clear up after yourselves. Captain Oscar Denton. Yeah, they didn't exactly, uh... Keep it too tidy, did they? Ooh. What do we have in here? Plant on top. It looks suspiciously like a banner, but it doesn't cut down. Okay, fair enough. All right, so the captain of the guards, we can't get in his room. Okay, just another guard bedroom. Pretzel. Oh, that's a cool looking book. Chocolate. I mean, I kind of hope these guys had money, but just I'll take food. Ah, there's some money and there's some more loot. Let's just turn all the lights off. It's a useful indicator that I've been in a room. Oh, the loot music plays. Unlocalized, that's a little weird. Maybe it's just Garrett imagining loot music. Alright, so this guy, I do want to try and sneak around. <clears throat> Weapon store, that sounds, that sounds like a good place to investigate. Yeah, that I will need a key for. Oh, he's coming back. You hear something? No? No, just me then. Ah. <clears throat> just wait here for him to pass by so we can check out this room.
I don't have any red arrows, so I can't pick these beams. <coughs> well, there were torches there, so that's some answer to my question. Mm, chocolate cake, okay. He comes in here, so I will leave the lights off. Hope he doesn't turn them back on again. Lollipop locked away. I mean, you wouldn't want the other guys to <gasps> steal your precious lollipops. Oh, hello. <gasps> Just as I was thinking that, you know, Christine never puts loot up on beams, then... I'm wrong. We have some greed over there. Dear parents, I hope you're doing well. I've settled in nicely here at Lord Wilson's country estate. You'll surely be glad to learn that life is quite dull in the countryside and nothing, simply nothing, ever happens here. The only distractions are the occasional squirrel and the odd raven. It would be nice if you could send me some books now and again. It's so boring that I've taken up reading to pass the time. Cheers, Sebastian. It's a teddy dog. How dare you call it a teddy bear? Oh, buddy. Okay, so we've got the guard, Captain. Still to check out. What I'm actually going to do here. I'm going to make use of my food. And leave little markers at the doors that I still have to investigate. Right, that one's locked, right? Any door. Anyway, there's a door I haven't been able to open. I mean, there's a couple in there, so the chocolate cake will mark me out. I'll leave some food in front of it as a as an indication. Oh, this is also Oscar Denton. Okay, so that one's the same as the chocolate cake. Then the chocolate cake's marking one of his. That's the main house. What's this area? Is that the museum? I mean, it feels like a fancy place. Surprisingly quiet. Well, there's definitely something to be said for uh, ease of stealth when you can always turn off all the lights. There is also some value in causing you to need to rush across a well-lit room to find a light switch. Are you a guard or not? Don't keep me waiting, man. Come through the gardens. Doesn't sound like a gut. What's there? Nothing. That was a guard. Where was he? No will. Guess it was nothing. Was he hiding behind the <coughs> curtains? Hmm, it sounds like he might be. Could be inconvenient for me. Horse valuable? No. Is the book readable? Can't tell from that angle. No, it's not. Okay. Yes, there is a guard there, isn't there? I wonder if he turns around, or if he's just sitting there staring at the curtains. Hmm, 
push someone. Let me know what's going on. What's going on is I need yeah. to knock you out. me moving the camera. Doesn't look to me like he's going to turn around. So perhaps I need to get at him from a different angle. That's a main hole looks, looks serious. Let's uh, leave that aside for the moment. Oh, this is just under the stairs. Okay, so the guard I heard forward must have been going up and down the stairs. Oh! Oh! -ho. Hiding behind a curtain. What's wrong? Is there anything, anything behind this curtain? Oh, okay. We can actually go all the way under the stairs. That's that's very cool. I like that. It's going for the west. Right, he's definitely on those stairs. Pretty quiet day at the manor, honestly. I guess that's all for the best from, from my point of view. Turn lamps off? No. Oh, there's somebody in the dining room there. I'm looking for. Okay, there's another guard that we're going to have to deal with. On a noisy floor. Maybe he's coming in here. Probably just the sir checking up on things. Oh. Oh, he made it easy for me. How about... Should I take them all back to the guards' quarters? <laughs> no. But I can, you know, have them sleeping on various... Hmm. I don't like those glass doors there from this angle. Let's, let's try and see if we can get around from behind. I looked at that bucket and there weren't any, and I didn't notice that bucket full of water arrows. Okay, we'll go that way in a minute. There's more noisy floor room. So, hear any noises? Hmm. Light switch over there. Hello? Anyone there? Oh, I'm hearing her strange giggles. Nothing there, man. What are we doing? Water wise? Oh, 18. I mean, I don't really want to waste three on one room. Okay, that goes out to the garden. Honestly, it does not seem too difficult and dangerous a place here. We got under these stairs. Stairs just yet. Focus on the ground floor.
Just make sure they're not coming this way. Now this here is the hallway where I met that first guard, right? Yes. So there's a guard over here. Oh, he's probably something the moved there. There's a guard there. Okay, calm down. There's nothing there. Right, I haven't explored. That area. Of the garden, I guess. So note to self on the western eastern side. A big noisy floor here. What's that? Nothing. Quiet. I can go dark. I think dark is what was needed. What happened here? <clears throat> right. Who knows? Basket. <clears throat> well, we got there. Roots. Excellent. More locked door markers, if any of them. Sausages. <laughs> cakes. It's a writing variety of cakes. Nice. I thought there was a, a scroll with writing. No, it's a rolling pin. Red. So we're out of the way. <coughs> ah, she stops in front of the oven to warm up. Or <coughs> to check on the steak. Don't worry, the steak is done. There's a dumbwaiter. Pretty handy. Okay, what I don't know is if I need to spend another water <laughs> arrow in this pantry-ish area here or not. <clears throat> Nothing. I mean, I will need to if I'm not quick. I think there's another spice bag up here. <laughs> right, well, I'm not going upstairs just yet, so let's leave the kitchen. Okay, so that's where I've been already. This double doors is new, right? Or maybe both of these are? That's the bar. There is a light switch on this side. How much shadow do we get from the... Oh, quite a lot, really. Oh! <laughs> 
Can I get that door to close while stopping this one? I can. Perfect. She's certainly happy. So I've been there. Two cigars. Is someone there? Nope. Why would you think there'd be somebody here? What a ridiculous Hello? thing to imagine. Hmm. Hello. Okay. Let's go out this way as it's quieter now. Have I been everywhere here? Hmm. No. Are you just guarding those plants? Fair enough, mate. You make sure nobody runs off of them. You could have been guarding the gold on the other side, but no, the plants. Oh, you get to sleep in this waste basket. Hello? My dear son-in-law, much to my regret, I have to inform you that I cannot come to your inauguration ceremony. Unfortunately, I will not be able to visit you in your new estate in the country either. My personal physician, Dr. Knorf, strongly advised me against visiting the countryside. He's concerned that such a long journey will prove by coach will prove too strenuous for me. He also fears that the country air could aggravate my asthma. Also, he warned me about the many, 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 many highly poisonous snakes and barracks. Alas, I will have to stay in your townhouse. I do not want you to suffer too much disappointment, so I commissioned a new portrait of myself. I do hope the messenger will deliver it in time for you to have hung before the opening ceremony. The best place to hang it would be in the large entrance hall next to the portrait of my beloved daughter. May the builder rest her soul. I know that you cherish her memory, but after almost three years of mourning, you should be strong enough by now to think about your bloodline. You need an heir, and so you should remarry. I already have a suitable candidate in mind. You have not yet been introduced, and her name is Ludmilla. She's the grandniece of my cousin Margareta. I will make arrangements to present her to you forthwith. We will see each other as soon as business brings you back into town. We shall then consider the next steps. However, I insist that the wedding take place in your townhouse. I want to be there for the happy event, as you will surely understand. Your mother-in-law, Eugenia. You have not yet been introduced, uh, but uh, you know I want to be there for the wedding. Yeah, yeah, she's she's uh, forced to be reckoned with, that's for sure. I think this goes outdoors. To this place I've already seen. No, right, this is the side of the house I haven't. Well, I thought I'd cleared it. There's the archer there. There's also a guard standing in that little area. All right, well, let's leave the main house and... Uh... Oh. It's just a bathroom. <laughs> it's a throne room. How pretentious can you get? <laughs> all right, all right. I'll give you that one. It is a highly pretentious uh, room for the throne of thought. Sitting on a little dace and everything. Okay. So this is the Hammerite Chapel. Yeah, there's that guard. I don't have any gas arrows, so he's going to be... Not again. Yeah. Awkward to manage. Probably just the wind. Glad you get the medals for rewards now. More footsteps. It's not very dark here. Dark enough. 
Make sure to stop those people from seeing the body after all. Who is there? Is someone there? Oh, it seems like they made it. It seems quiet enough now. Tis well. Well, I mean, you're not technically a guard, but uh, I feel like you come under the purview of... Well, I don't know. If thou be there, bespeak thyself. All is silence now. Who is there? Is someone there? Hey. All is quiet now. These guys aren't going to interrupt any expedition to the vault, right? For the master builder, his mark is no longer upon the life of the city, and the taint of the trickster will always seek entrance. I'll have that. I'll have that. I'll have that. I'll have that, and I'll read that. I am a wall builder. I let my walls endure from season to season, yet a year and age to age. Let my walls stand while families toil, armies march, and empires fall. I am a wall builder and my walls will stand always as a shield against evil. This I pray that will the master builder grant. I will have to be a little bit more. Something moved that I saw. Nothing. It seems quiet enough now. Tis well. Is there anything among the pews? No one walks here now. No. Camera Compendium Volume 94 again. It's definitely the most popular volume, it seems. Well, I can deal with this. But I can't deal with that banner. And this is where they're staying. Well, let's have the lights on for the moment. Wait, get it. They didn't hear that, that would be uh, inconvenient. Oh, look, he's got a, a doll of righteousness. Obviously a doll of righteousness. What else could it be? Oh. I don't suppose this... No. It's weird how the one outside was cuttable and most of the others aren't. Oh, wow, they've come to the trouble of... Uh, Doing collision on the beds. The head of the bed and the ends of the bed are separate. His attention to detail. Just <laughs> surprising attention to detail given lack of attention to detail of collision on the rocks in the pirate mission. But I guess that's a matter of, uh, you know, developing techniques. Oh, you look valuable. Alright, I guess we're done in here then. Void of guards. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the sneakiest of them all? How did you know it was me? He says as five guards suddenly hear him tap dancing across the floor. Garrett, never miss a minute to flatter your ego. Regardless of how competent the, your current driver might be.
something else around the edge here. It doesn't look like it. Anything in the pool itself? Maybe he's dropped a ring or a bangle or a necklace or a tiara or anything. No? Very well. Oh. So. Oh, it's a flood of leaf pattern. I thought it was a weird grinning face. A weird spooky grinning face. I don't know if you can see <laughs> the shape that I was thought it was, but uh Right. We got more of the main house over there, but it might be better to reach up from inside, I think. Did it go in here? Yes. Yes, I did. How could I forget? All right. You do my interior explorations. That's odd. Why is the big plant got a tiny little plant growing from it? I don't know. Okay, now I... Right, I haven't been here. Strange. I saw something there for a moment. I see one rat, I will just scream. That's right, ma'am. There's lots of squirrels, but I have not seen any rats. <coughs> so you need not worry too much. You'll probably scream if you see me as well, but I'm not a rat. I suppose you did not promise not to scream if you saw something other than a rat, so it would not be a logical impossibility. <laughs> You know, not, it wouldn't be a contradiction for you to scream when you saw me, I suppose. If you don't mind, you've got some uh, candlesticks here for me to steal. Ooh. Oh, this one might be harder. Hmm, I thought I saw something. Nope, you didn't. <coughs> Guess it was nothing. Nope. Oh, he's coming right in. <coughs> oh, he brought some money. That's that's welcome. Oh, wow, that's a. Very well lit hole. Hmm, thought I saw something. Let's make this area safe, at least. Guestbook. Lord Ashton, Sir Hrothgar, Sir Andre and Lady Carla. Lord and Lady Wellhofer. Lady Lottie, Lord Class and Lady Heike. And Garrett. Alright, so that's the front entrance where there was a guard that we already took out. Nice hat, can I steal it? Oh, hello. Hmm. Oh, this is not the cloakroom. That's right, you should be safe enough down here. Have I been in this room before? The lights are off. Yes, this is the room with the horse I tried to steal. Oh, that's right, you were the guard standing here staring at those curtains. Good. Gordon, why is my guest's luggage still not in their rooms? Didn't they make it clear what an absolute priority that was? I'm stumbling across suitcases everywhere. Don't scatter them willy-nilly around the house. Take them to the guest rooms. Lord Ashton was the only guest who found the suitcase in his room. Only it wasn't his, it was Lady Lottie's. And what he found inside it was so embarrassing that I'd rather not talk about it. See that you fix this and hurry up. I want all luggage in the correct rooms by this afternoon, where you can start looking for a new job, Lord Wilson. Well, some of the luggage is still down here, but I guess he managed most of it, so maybe he'll... 
get a reprieve. Alright, I don't want to go upstairs. I'm not really bothered about this guy coming down the stairs, except he's going to go in and out of that side room, so I don't have much time. Ah, and I've been in here before. It's just this room here. Okay. So does that complete my circuit of the ground floor then? Okay, I'm going to start leaving doors open behind me. For rooms that I've already dealt with. This is the under stairs, right? Yeah. Just because I've been here already. Seeing as we have to clear... Okay, I'm not sure I've cleared all this area yet. Very funny, isn't it? It's hilarious. Yeah, all right. And that's that main hall again. All right. Which I have not looted. I'm going to leave that one closed for the sake of sound. And this one too, probably. I mean, I can see, see into that one. That's the kitchen. Keep it closed for the sake of sound, but I've been in there. That's the bar. What's this room? I don't remember. Oh, there's a guard going up and down that hallway. That's what for. You know what? I'm going to end the episode here. And next episode, we'll uh, explore this part of the house. So I'll see you then.